All right, Shalom, Shalom. Your brother Shamar Wall coming back with another lesson. Before I go any further, I want to give our praises, our honor, and our glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Kakodash. <clears throat> Next up, double honors to the Apostle and Elders of the Great Millstone, the Talmud, when he wants to truth, according to the King James Bible, as well as the Apocrypha. Another Shalom to brothers going to the highways and the byways and do these videos lessons for you, though, for the <clears throat> All right. And, you know, just want to go ahead and just jump into this, you know. <clears throat> this is a uh, song chapter 37 verse 1 you know because sometimes you know things play on your mind you know but we got our strong mind in this truth you know it's the only way you're going to continue to endure is to pray fast and um you know of course offer charity but you know fear and faith as well but you know you got going to some of these scriptures as well the psalm 37 and 1 it says fret not thyself because of evil doers you know fret you know, going into anxiety or, uh, you know, showing worry. You know, it says, you know, fret is a verb. It says be constantly or visibly worried or anxious. You know, gradually wear away something by rubbing or gnawing a state of anxiety or worry. So, you know, you're not supposed to be in a, in a state of anxiety or worry because of evildoers. It says neither be thou envious against workers of iniquity and you know iniquity is you know people that stack on sin upon sin upon sin you know which we understand that only the nation of israel which consists of the so-called negroes latinos and native americans as well as israelite foreigners you know those are um you know those are the ones that can sin but you know you have people that um you know commit iniquities and they do, do they um uh, the trans they transgress the father's ways, you know. Um, verse two, but you're not supposed to worry. You're not supposed to fret these things, you know. And you're not supposed to be envious, you know. Why? Why can't they? Why are they able to um commit adultery and they're not being judged? Why are they able to be sodomites and the Lord hasn't put them down yet? Um, but you know, I'm going through my afflictions daily and all that. You know, don't be envious of that. You know, because it's going to tell you why, you know. And plus, if you're in this truth, you know, you got to bear your cross like a man, you know. Job told, oh, let me see. Let me see. Let me get that one real quick, you know. Because I want to read it before I just say it. Uh, so like let me go ahead and um, read this scripture while I look for that. This is uh, Psalm 372 for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. You know, these evil doers are gonna they they you know they have their time in the sun now, but you know, the Lord is, is shortening that up. The Lord ain't gonna play no games with them. He's gonna put them to an utter end, you know. As it says in um what is that, Ecclesiastes the eighth chapter. Yep, Ecclesiastes uh, chapter uh, 8 and 11. It says, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the hearts of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Though a sinner do evil a hundred times and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the Most High, which fear before him, but shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth not. Y'all watch me out shot, you know. And that's going into, you know, you're not afraid. You're not being anxious and worried, you know, about what, what, what two-thirds of the nation of Israel are doing, what these other uh, heathens is doing and all that. Because their day is on the fastly approach, you know. Uh, Psalm 37 and 2, it says, For they shall soon be cut down like the grass, and wither as the green herb. But right here, this is verse three. It says, trust in you. How about you shy and do good? You know, that's what you got to do. You know, forget what they got going on. Forget it, you know, because they got to an answer. And, 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 you know, there's a judgment and there's an atonement for what they do in this world, you know. But you also have a judgment and atonement for what you do, you know, whether it be good or whether it be wicked, you know. So the scripture is telling you, Trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Have strong confidence in, in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, his word, you know, and 
you know, have the faith in that Yahweh Bashim Shah, if you believe and you do what is commanded of you, you know, whatever your lot may be, you know, whether you be have a lot of a prophet, whether you have a lot of a helper, you a believer, you know, and as being a believer, you know, you're ordering your steps are right. You're not walking in the um in the manners of a two third, you know, you're not your 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 mind's not of the affairs of this world, you know. What is you know, building up your mind for these said perils that's gonna happen, you know, understanding that um the M O T B, you know, that if you take that, that um, you know, there's no repentance and you'll be, you know, utterly obliterated. You know, you're gonna drink of that wine of that wrath of Yah Bashan Yah Shah's righteous indignation. You you're gonna feel the full force of that, you know. <clears throat> you gotta constantly uh, uh bring that out there because hey, that's what really matters in these times. The MOTB. Uh Psalm 37 and 3 again. It says, Trust in Yahweh So trust in Yahweh Bashimal Shah. You trust in him, you understand that he's gonna get you through these uh sad times that's gonna befall, you know, whether going in the, down in the Esau and receiving his uh Karax, his, his uh pale and incision, you know, the the Karagma, you know. <clears throat> it says, uh, and do good. How would you do good? You know, by, you know, of course, you know, if, it, if it's called of you to, you know, um, put your hand to the plow to do that and then remain, you know, not take your hand off the plow, you know. And it says, so shall they dwell in the land and verily thou shall be fed. You know, that's what Yahweh Shai is going to do for you, you know, if you trust in him. You're going to dwell in, you know, the land, you know. And what is that land we're talking about? We're talking about the kingdom of heaven. We're talking about a new and refreshed Israel, you know. And thou should be fed. Yahweh Bashim, look, Yahweh Bashim Al Shah is going to lift you up to a whole nother level, you know. The, 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 um, the, the kingdom of heaven, you know, the, the planet of everything is going to nurture you, you know. And then you're going to enter into your rest, you know. Heathens are going to serve you, you know. That's you know, hey, it, 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 hey, it's a lot. It's a lot of the, the kingdom of heaven entails. But you know, you, it all starts with trusting in Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, not worrying, not being concerned with two thirds the uh, uh, are caught up in. You know, but you know, you got to pipe unto him, warn him. You know, and get the blood off your hand. Verse four it says, "Delight thyself also in Yahweh Bashim Al Shah." How would you delight yourself by meditating in these scriptures? You know being occupied in prophecy you know you know that's the light in yourself you know you're giving your time unto this you know your free time you're giving into this and then you're also making time you know uh along with uh you know you're making time as well along with uh, offering i mean giving up your free time you know that's how you delight in y'all watching y'all shot meditating on your scriptures meditating on the prophets man meditating on the things that are to happen you know Keep building yourself up and, gather, and gathering more wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And it says, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. You know, the Lord is going to give you the desires of that heart. And what should your, your heart, going into the Hebrew word, lie, love, which means your mind, what should you be desiring, you know? You shouldn't be in the house of mirth, you know, wanting the, um, the things of the, uh, the world and of the flesh. You know, you should be wanting the um, things of the fruits of the spirit. You should be wanting, you know, the things that's going to, help keep you stable in these times to come, you know. You should be laying up spiritual treasures, you know, something that you can cash out on when, you know, hell is breaking loose. You lay Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, you know. I remain faithful and all that, you know. Uh, I'm trying to stand upon, you know, the, 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 the treasures that uh, um, I've been building up, you know. And the Lord's going to, you know, pour you out uh, abundance of blessings and all that. He's going to He's gonna see you through that, you know. He's going to, you know, because, you know, the Lord, the Lord's going to have mercy upon, you know, the ones that delight him and truly uh, seek him. The true intentions is, is, is pleasing Yahweh Bashim al Shah. It says, verse 5, it says, commit thy way unto Yahweh Bashim al Shah. How are you committing your way? By putting your hand to that plow and not looking back. Because anybody that looks back, they're not fit for the kingdom. They're not qualified, you know. So, no, they're not going to receive salvation. It says, commit thy way into Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Pick up your cross. Go through the afflictions, the hard times, the burdens, all that, you know, that entail being in this truth. You know, because Yahweh Shah did it. He ain't complain, you know. 
but he did. He understood the mission at hand, and he was about his father's business. And we have to be about the same thing. You have to come in that same stead. That's how you, if you're going to commit your way into Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. He says, trust also in him. You know, you can't commit your way into something. You can't commit to something that you don't have trust in, that you don't believe in. You know, so you got to trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah also. You know, you got to believe in him wholeheartedly, non wavering. And he shall bring it to pass, you know. And the only reason why the men of the Lord are in this is because we understand what's going to befall the world. Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, and, you know, these other land masses, you know, that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is bringing judgment into. The whole world is going to um, be presented with, you know, the MOTB, you know. You have to trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know. But the, the, the whole thing is salvation. You trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, he's going to bring that salvation to pass. And, uh, yeah, I had something for you before, you know. I was uh, getting into the scripture, but, you know. Uh, dang, where is it at? Uh, I just go to the, um, I just go to it on, uh, Google. So lucky. Yep, this is Job 38.3. I knew I wanted to say that, but, you know, I won't uh, too sure. It says, Job 38.3, Gird up now thy loins like a man, for I will demand of thee and answer thou me. You know, you got to gird up the loins of your mind, you know. You got to be a man, you know, in your everyday life, you know, conducting in this truth, you know. Especially if you come in, um, serve your Abba Shemel Shai, and, you know, you're taking up your cross, and you're delighting your way into him, and you're committing your, uh, your, your, your life unto him, your mind is the number one thing you got to conquer. As soon as you can um, rule your mind, rule your spirit and everything, you know, that, 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 that's, one, that's one aspect of the battle that's conquered. Now the next thing is, you know, continuing to endure, continuing to believe in Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shah, not letting nobody sway you, you know, not, 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 uh, dibbling and dabbling with different ph philosophies and other doctrines, you know, you got to continue on the things that you learn, you know, um, which if you learn from Great Millstone, which they had the 100% truth of the King James Bible and the Apocrypha, if you believe in that, you know, you got to continue in that, you know, you know, and you can't waver, you know, that's that, you know, that's that, that's just, <clears throat> you know, just making that known, you know, but with that, you know, Lord's willing, this lesson, this lesson was edifying into the hopeful elect, you know, because, that's what, you know, men of great millstone and men is coming in with that same like mindness. That's what they do. They they they're here to edify the hopeful elect. You know, so Lord's one. This lesson was edifying to the hopeful elect, and then sacrifice sacrificing to Yahweh, watching Yahweh shine. And until next time, shalom.